Greetings and salutations. This is Evelyn O'Malley with another tea time. And earlier this week, I watched a great video by Jacqueline Glenn, and it was her refuting, I believe. Let me look at his name. Look at his name. Ray Comfort. Ray Comfort. Yeah. About evolution. And her basically talking about how he was refuting that there's no such thing as evolution, you know. That there must be a god because there is yeah. Because uh, evolution cannot exist for whatever idiotic reason we Christians have. And I was just thinking in the back of my mind, what is it with us Christians and not believing in science? I mean, I'm not saying that there couldn't be a God. But that's the thing. As she went throughout the video, she did state that Scientists are not trying to take away religion. They're fine with religion. They're just tired. It's just that if there's, if you, how do I put it? It's basically, how can we just sit there? Honestly, sit here and just pretend that this stuff doesn't go on. And I'm in total agreement with her. And I'm a Christian for Christ's sakes. But I guess this is more of if you're a Christian or you're an atheist, do you honestly fight? How does this make you feel? Like, I will probably link this video down in the description so you can watch the full one as well. And I'll try to show the Ray Comfort one, and I agree with her for the most part. I haven't watched Ray's video. I'll probably, I might watch it sooner or between now and the time this video is made, so I can better refute it. Yes. So when this video is launched, you can ask me those questions, and I'll be able to back it up as much as possible. But that's just my personal question: Why? can't Christians, why can't we Christians believe in science? Why do we give people like Jacqueline Glenn or the amazing atheist or scientist all the trouble of, of this? That's nonsense. It's there, folks. Staring us straight in the face. It's there. <laughs> the proof is there is proof of it. It's not saying that you cannot believe in God. You're, you're free and capable of believing it. But, you know. It, I just don't understand it. I don't understand why we can't believe in it. Why we can't get along on the whole situation. Yet, you know, we live in a country where we'll make dumb commercials, in my person, about how stupid children are. Yet, we still have older men, older women, who maintain that there is no such thing as evolution. It's the same thing with global warming. I know there's thousands of people who don't believe in it, but you know something? The weather is not getting any better, folks. <laughs> I'm starting to believe that there is such a thing. And I'm tired of sitting around pretending like it doesn't happen, that it does not occur. Because it does. And it has been. It's been going on for the last mm, 20 years of people being total and absolute disbelief. But 
Anyways, if you can, please explain to me why, if you're a Christian, that you do not believe in science. And I just want to know, I'm just curious, or think science just don't believe in the whole evolution thing. I'm sorry if this video comes off as repetitive and dumb, but I'm just awe-stricken by the whole concept. And I've seen it a thousand times here on YouTube, and I just want it explained. Anyways, this is Evelyn O'Malley, and you have had another tea time. Okay. There will be another one uploaded every week at this time as much as possible. Huh? And I might get a little flinchy throughout the week. Maybe because I'm going back to school soon, as you know. However, please, please continue to follow me on my Tumblr and my Twitter. And this is Evelyn O'Malley. Sign up.